The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and it is for the Valor Premise Championship. Yeah. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the ring the winner, Andy Feinberg. Okay, folks, we were getting ready for a uh, triple threat match for the Valor Primus Championship. But uh, Joel Oreski, announcer Joel Oreski, has called the name of Andy Weinberg, who has slithered his way into the ring. Let's see what he has to say. What do we have here tonight? Obviously... Halloween came early this year. Oh, he's up to his usual annex. What's this guy laughing at? He had, that's a woman. <laughs> Last time we were here, we lost. And you know what that made us that night? That made us losers, just like every single one of you here tonight. But that's not true. You see, we're not like him. We're not like him. And we're not like any of you. We are the winners. Well, you're doing a whole bunch of whining. You might be the winner's circle there, Andy Weinberg. But you're doing a whole bunch of whining, in my opinion. With that said, it's time to change our ways here at Valor Pro Wrestling. And it begins right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Primus Champion, the sizzling one, Stan Styles. Well, he might have introduced Stan Styles as the next Valor Primus Champion, but he's got to remember one thing that he is forgetting. He's got to go through Richie Nightmare, and he has got to go through the Valor Primus Champion in The Butcher, Andrew Backlund. And neither of Stan Stiles' opponents in this triple threat match are exactly pushovers. I, I don't know what, you know. Of course, Stan Stiles up to his usual annex by showing his body off. And there's that supposed thousand dollar spray bottle. From Middletown, Pennsylvania, weighing in tonight at 250 pounds, the mega of madness, Richie Nightmare. Really, one of these days, you know, that, that water bottle is going to get deposited in an area where the sun doesn't shine. Here comes Richie Nightmare. Richie Nightmare celebrating with the crowd. And a Heisman pose for Richie Nightmare. Like I said, he called he called Stan Styles the next Valor Primus champion, but I think this man that just stepped in the ring has something to say about that. And their opponent, he's accompanied to the ring by the Puerto Rican Playboy, Lou Love, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, weighing in tonight at 220 pounds. He's the current Valor Primus champion, the Butcher. And this man will definitely have something to say to Stan Styles and Andy Weinberg about Styles being the supposed next, the next Valor Primus champion. Backlund is no pushover. 
He won that championship off of Adrian Bliss. Maybe with the help of uh, Lou Love, the Puerto Rican playboy, but Backlund's no pushover. They don't call him the butcher for nothing. whole bunch of wine and they haven't done a whole bunch of winning lately. Wow, and an odd show of support. And an odd show of support. The uh, referee's already called for the bell. And Backlund firing in forums on Richie Nightmare to start the match off. Reversal on the Irish whip. Nightmare follows it into the corner with a clothesline on Backlund. Another Irish whip in the corner. Backlund pays the receipt with a couple of boots to the, to the face of uh, Richie Nightmare. And, you know, this is supposed to be a triple threat match, but Stan Styles is nowhere involved in this matchup. But to get back to the action in the ring, Backlund just landed in some devastating chops. Oh, I see where Stan is. Stan Styles, the sizzling one, is hiding at ringside among the crowd. Boy, that's a real winner for you. Anyway, Richie Nightmare delivers a couple of chops back to Andrew Backlund. Nightmare coming, Richie Nightmare coming out of the ring. Stan Styles up to his usual shortcut tactics. <laughs> Richie Nightmare just about chopped the chest of Stan Styles right off of him. And now Styles is begging for mercy against the butcher. That's not gonna be that's not gonna be too pleasant, let me tell you. And again, like I said, Styles is up to his usual low road annex. Gouging the eyes of the Butcher. The butcher will definitely pay him the receipt for that one. Where is Styles going? I don't understand this. It's supposed to be a triple threat match and he's hiding like a child in the corner. And as he goes back and sits in the crowd once again, you know, Backlund and not, uh, Richie Nightmare are the ones putting in the work on this. Mm. Oh. And Backlund with a low blow. There he goes. They don't call him the butcher for nothing. He's just carving away at the chest of Richie Nightmare. And Styles, look at this, acting like a little, you know, I can't even call him a little kid. Now he's climbing back in the ring with Butcher. I can guarantee you this ain't going to end good. Oh, nope. Up on the ring apron, back down again. Butcher's standing tall in the middle of that ring right now. Okay, Richie Nightmare coming back in. Forearm shots by Backlund. A couple of shoulder blocks from Backlund on Richie Nightmare. Snapmare out of the corner. Kick to the follows it up with a kick to the back. Of 
corkscrew uh, forearm shot by Backlund. Styles tried to take the low road. Backlund did all the work. And, you know, Styles comes in out of nowhere like a snake out of the grass trying to pick an easy win. <laughs> Double palm thrust. Styles to Backlund, but Richie Nightmare's not having any of it. Irish whip Backlund out of the corner into Styles. Here we go. Splash in the corner. Backlund falls down. Styles falls down. Richie Nightmare into the cover. No, only a two count. From referee Bruce Delaney. Styles makes his way back up into the corner. Richie Nightmare setting up for something. Here he comes. Full head of steam with another splash and he missed. Styles. Armbar. Russian leg sweep. It's like Backlund and Styles are fighting over, you know, they're fighting over the last piece of meat in the refrigerator to pick off this easy win, but Richie Nightmare's not one to be taken so lightly. Body slam by Backlund. Two count. Richie Nightmare able to lift his shoulder and a, just a Devastating headbutt by Backlund on Stan Styles. Double underarm hook. Suplex by Backlund. Boot to the midsection on Styles. Oh, Richie Nightmare tried to roll out of the way. And Backlund dropped. Styles with a delayed suplex in the boots of Richie Nightmare, or uh, boots of Styles caught Richie Nightmare in the stomach. Richie Nightmare also able to kick out as well as Styles. Backlund only getting a two count. Backlund's calling for Lou Love. A lot of people have to remember there are, you know, no disqualifications in a triple threat match. Some people just tend to forget that, but uh, Styles goes with the belt. Missed on Richie Nightmare. Nightmare with a fireman's carry on Styles. Styles able to reverse it. Wow, an upper, uppercut palm strike into the cover. Oh my goodness. Folks, I'm, I'm just as surprised as you are right now. We have a great... by the wayside. Folks, like I said, unbelievable when Andy Weinberg said that the winner's circle is back to their winning ways. I was a little hesitant to believe him at first, but hey, his man came through. 